Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy the Ashikop Vault through the marketplace on the Akamai Cloud Manager. I'm Tommy, a developer advocate working with the channel. And if you want to follow along with this tutorial, there will be a link in the description below where you can get $100 free credit, which will be enough for you to follow along with this tutorial. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Now the first thing we need to do is to log in into the Cloud Manager. So once you have logged in in there, you can do this by clicking the link in the description below. Then we need to come into Marketplace. So the first thing we want to do is to deploy the app. So in Marketplace, we're going to scroll down right here to where we see Ash Vault. So we're going to come in here to where we see Ashikop Vault. So this is what we want to deploy. We're going to click on it and then we're going to come down to set it up. So now we ask for the limited studio user. So most of what I'm going to do are optional, but you can just follow what I'm doing so that you can have utmost security. So what I'm just going to do now is to have, it said limited user to be created. I'm just going to put the username and then the password for the limited user. Just put a password and we can leave this blank. We don't really need to and disable root access over SSH. Now you can do this if you want to disable the root access over SSH access, but I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to click on no. And for the image, I'm going to click on Debian 11. And for the region, once again, you need to click on the region that's closest to you. For me, that is London, UK. So I'm going to click on that. And for dedicated CPU, now what is recommended for us to use is the 4G, dedicated 4 gig, as this will be enough to you know process everything that is needed. And we could leave all of this blank and let's have a root password. And now we could leave all of this blank and we could just click create Linode. So this is going to create this Linode. As you can see, it is provisioning. Now it takes five to 10 minutes to actually create provision and boot up this particular Linode. So we're going to wait for that to finish and then we're going to be back. Now, as you can see, it says that this Linode is running successfully. Now, what we need to do is to now obtain the unseal key so i'm going to show you how to obtain unseal key now i'm going to explain what this unseal key is so the data within this vault the vault that we've created is protected by a series of encryption keys so it's protected by different layers of encry encryption keys basically so the first layer of the encryption key that is stored is stored in the key ring that is what it's called and then the key ring is encrypted using the root key and then the root key is encrypted using the unseal key which is what i'm going to show you how to get so the unseal key is split into like multiple portions and it can be distributed to multiple people now this process of having everything being secured in series of layers this make sure that the data is protected and only authorized users can gain access to the data now, as I said, the unseal key is what is used to basically encrypt the root key and then the root key is used to encrypt the key ring. And what we're going to do now is to obtain those unseal key. So I'm going to show you how to obtain the unseal key of this particular Lino that we created. So what we're going to do is to have to SSH into this server. So to do this, we're going to come under access and we're going to see SSH access. And in here, I'm going to copy this. And right here, I'm going to paste in that command. And we're going to say yes. And it asks for the password. And as you can see, we're successfully been SSH into that server. I'm just going to clear this so that we have a good looking terminal. Now, once we have that, what we just need to do to get the unseal keys, unseal keys actually very straightforward. We just need to say cat slash root slash dot vault so this dot vault a u l t underscore tokens is where the unseal key is stored right so in here this is basically all the unseal key as i said when i was explaining it is split into portions now these are the portions it is split into and this is the root token right so now that you've seen how to get the unseal key i'm going to show you how to access the vault via the web ui so what I'm going to do now is to come into my browser and for us to access that, I'm going to have to come into IP address and I'm going to take the IPv4 address, which is this address right here. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to put colon 8200. 
So once you put once you put that colon 8200, it loads this UI. Now this UI is basically where the data is stored. And for us to see the data, we need the unseal key to basically open this for us. If we do not have this, it's not going to work. And what we need to do, we don't just need one unseal key. We need more than one. So we need to put three different unseal keys in here before this can open up. So I'm going to copy the first one paste it and click on seal as you can see it says one of three provided now we need to provide another one too i'm just going to copy this on seal it says two of three provided and now we're going to copy the third one and we're going to paste it so now it has been opened and that has basically opened us to now be able to put in the root token so it says method token we're going to leave it as token and for the token, we need this initial roots token right here. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to come in here and paste it. Now, as you can see, I have been signed in here. Yeah. It gives us a warning because it says we have logged in with a root token. As a security precaution, it doesn't save that root token in your browser. As you can see, we've basically done this right here. We're able to use the unseal key to open up the UI, the vault UI. And in here, we can basically do anything we want to do. We can create new tokens we can add new data like in here we could click on this and create a secret and we can create new key and save it and you know we could basically do everything we want in this vault that's what the ashikop vault is for but before anyone can access this they need to access all of these keys so that's what this video is about showing you how to actually deploy the ashikop vault on linode cloud manager so as you can see that has worked successfully now another thing once you've seen your own seal keys and you've distributed them and you've used them it is a good precaution to um, remove your seal key from this root directory and for you to do that you need to do rm slash root slash dot vault underscore tokens dot txt now that command is just going to basically delete that particular file from that particular directory so now that that is done that is all for this video and i hope this video helped you out in knowing how to deploy ashikop vault and if you like more videos like this please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe and don't forget to drop a comment on what video topic you want us to cover next thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one